and it's Joey John McGuire uh, in uh, my local watering hole, Weatherspoon's watering hole, it's a Lloyd's bar, it's the ice cream, it's in Fulham Broadway. Um, I'm about to, uh, that's London, United Kingdom, I'm about to uh, recite the second of two poems uh, that I wrote in the early hours of this morning, as per usual. It's for a good friend of mine who's having a tough time at the moment. Uh, he has his ha uh, wife in hospital, um, just having had a stroke. Uh, but he's having a real tough time. So I decided that uh, I'd write him this little poem. Uh, trying to keep him treasure and pull out of his pocket whenever he feels the need. A friendly nudge. Few saw his heart attack coming, thirst to know was him. Mortality hit him in the face that day, death is never very far away. Now it's her turn, his precious love, her stroke, a bolt from the blue. Age is a vicious landlord, leaving everything down to willpower, will they squat to survive? Well-wishers and do-gooders, family and friends, all ready and willing to chip in. It's understandable, everyone wants a happy outcome. You do well to remember, though, words come cheap. Ignorance, however, well-intentioned, often carries a heavy price tag. Like any leopard, his spots will go unchanged, but his heart is in the right place. Remember, it is only he that feels the internal tears that he cries. Nothing is too much for her, and that's no lie, though life for both of them will never be the same again. Every movement, every day that goes by brings promise of hope that once again she'll smile. Until then, he will keep vigil at her bedside, though not all of the time. Her every breath keeping his hopes alive. It's never over until the fat lady sings. Moments on his own are of paramount importance to be included in his daily chores. Wizened interference constantly telling him what to do, inappropriate, and will be received with resentment. Just a friendly nudge is all that is required, every now and again, to keep him going forward on a positive line. Now is not the time for argumentative criticism. It is a time for compassion and quiet reflection. For him, qualities he owns in abundance. He will at times fall short, attempt to bury his head in the sand, but he will come through, I know this as his friend. It is such a shame that for all of us, the song of life will always end on a wrong note. Death doesn't have a safety net, but life does, and it is full of happy endings, leaving it up to us to steal ourselves to walk through the long corridors of hope. That's especially for my dear friend, uh, Garth, who is, like I say, going through a tough time at this moment.